Hello, my name is Mark Blocker. In this segment, we're going to cover how to change your radiator fluid. Okay, to change your radiator fluid, you're going to need a drain pan capable of holding how much your cooling system holds. This is about a three gallon unit, and that will quite suffice for this four cylinder engine. You're also going to need antifreeze to replace it with. And if you get the antifreeze in the pure form, you're going to want to make sure you mix it. A good mixture ratio is a 50 50 ratio, and that'll protect you up to about minus 34. If you need better cooling protection or freezing protection than that, mix it at a 70-30 ratio, but don't exceed that ratio. Um, to start, we want to make sure that we remove the radiator cap, and that's going to release the pressure. If your engine's hot, this can be under pressure, and you might want to use a rag. Just slowly release, pushing it down, twisting it first click should release the pressure. After it's vented out and it's safe to remove, just go ahead and remove the cap, and that will open up the system so it can drain out. Now the drain plug on a radiator is going to be located, if it's a top and bottom tank mounted, it's going to be located on the bottom of the radiator facing the engine. If it's a side tank mounted, it'll be round mounted on the bottom of one of the two side tanks facing towards the engine. Once you've located the drain plug, it's usually a plastic screw. You can usually get it out with your fingers alone. It may require use of pliers if it's been in there for a long time and it's sticky. And what we're going to do is place your drain pan underneath that drain in the radiator. Once you get your pan there, just simply remove the plug, allow the fluid to drain out. Once the fluid's completely drained out, then you can reinsert the plug and refill the radiator with the proper mixture of 50-50 ratio or 70-30 ratio antifreeze water and fill it up until it's full again. Or another good thing to recommend once you've drained the radiator system is to flush it prior to filling it with fresh antifreeze. And that can be done by just using a flush additive. You fill it up with water, mix it with the additive, reseal the radiator by putting the cap and the plug in, and letting the engine run for just a few minutes. And that'll circulate it all through the engine and allow it to clean out. Just follow the manufacturer on whatever the flush chemical recommends, and you can flush the engine prior to adding the new coolant. After you've replaced the coolant in the radiator, make sure you let the engine run for at least 10-15 minutes until the thermostat's opened up, the system is cycled completely, and then recheck it after it's cooled and make sure that your cooling system's filled up. Also, don't forget the overflow tank. It should have a mark on it where the proper cooling level fill level on the overflow tank is as well. That's how you change your own radiator fluid.